the more you prep, the easier your week will be. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to jump on here and intro this video. If you are new here, my name is Brianna and I am a third year, third grade teacher in North Carolina. I recently, actually a year ago, lost 30 pounds, over 30 pounds, almost 40 on Weight Watchers and that is because my first year of teaching, I gained 50 pounds. So I'm still working at it, but I thought it would be neat to share some of the things I prep for the week and how I go about being on Weight Watchers or just following a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy foods as a teacher. So I share some of my favorite snacks and meals and I hope this gives you guys something to try out. My link for a free month of Weight Watchers is always down below. You guys need to try it out if you have been stuck in a rut or something. Now I've been stuck in a rut since June of last year. When I went on vacation, I stopped tracking. I tracked from January to June and lost 30 pounds. And since June, I have maintained, but I haven't lost any weight in almost a year because I haven't been following the plan. But if you track your meals and you stay within your points, I promise you, you will be successful. And it has taught me to choose the right foods to eat, which is why I love it so much. And that's why I've been able to maintain my weight and I haven't gained it all back because I'm still making good choices. I'm still using Weight Watchers and I'm still trying to continue tracking. But if you want to get on the journey with me, you can sign up down below and my name on there is Brianna Rice so you can follow my journey on there. It's like a little Instagram feed just for Weight Watchers. Before we continue any further though, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to 20,000 subscribers. I have to hit over that 19,000 up first and we've been sitting at that forever and I just, I feel like 20 is a really good number. So let's get there and hit that subscribe so I know to keep putting out some new content. All right. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to start with is these chickpeas. They're also called garbanzo beans. And I can't find them in the Great Value brand at Walmart. Like, you have to get this weird brand. So I have two cans. And I'm going to roast these because these are a crunchy snack that I can have. And if you make them yourself, it would be zero points. So the first thing I need to do is drain and rinse them. All right, so the next step is to line my pan that has clearly been used <laughs> with paper towels. And this is because when you're roasting the chickpeas, you want them to be dry. And you'll also notice I haven't preheated my oven yet. There's a purpose for that. So I line it with paper towels. I spread them all out. The paper towels are gonna soak up the water. I want a nice even layer. I have my own cooking show. Isn't this every like child's dream? It's pretty good. And then you cover it because you wanna soak up all the water. And I'm not pressing extremely hard because we don't wanna smush them. We're not trying to make hummus. So now I'm gonna lift and let them all come off. I'm gonna remove this really wet paper towel and I'm gonna come back in with this dry one and just spread them out with it. The first time I baked these, I burnt them and the second time I didn't cook them long enough. All right, next step is to spray the chickpeas with a light mist. Sure. That's just so the spices um, stick to them. I just use the canola oil. Any kind of cooking spray is zero points, so that's good to me. Um, I'm using some cayenne pepper, 
because I love spice. I'm not measuring it out, I'm just evenly coating them. And then paprika as well. And now you'll notice most of my spice things have no lid and that's because I make my own taco seasoning. So I never like usually use them as sprinklers. So I'm just gonna pour about that much in my hands, like what? half a teaspoon less than a little less than a teaspoon and kind of sprinkle it on them a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper you can obviously use whatever seasoning you want so now we're just going to shake them so they can roll around and they pick up the spice and then it's ready for the cold oven. I'm going to come set it to 425. And you're supposed to let them roast for about 40 minutes to an hour. Obviously it depends on your oven. You just have to check on them every 10 minutes because they can burn within minutes to be honest. So I'm also going to set, does anyone else, hey, just got out of the shower. Does anyone else use their microwave timer for their oven instead of their oven timer? Cause I never use my oven timer. Um, so I'm gonna set this for 10 minutes. That way I can shake them up. The next thing I need to get started is my sweet potato because I need this in the oven while I have it. So I'm going to scrub this. I'm not going to peel it. Um, so I'm going to scrub it really good so I have some clean skin and then I'm going to chop it up into tiny pieces. I just took the chickpeas out for their first shake and the oven still has two minutes left to preheat so that gives you an idea of anything um, now I have my little pan which I'm kind of thinking I might need a bigger pan for these sweet potatoes so we're just gonna use the pizza pan and I'm gonna go ahead and prep that pan and get all the sweet potatoes on. Now these are the only thing that I prep that are points um, and I, has, I haven't been measuring them out weeks prior. You know it's personal preference when you're on Weight Watchers or when you're following a certain eating plan how like particular you want to be about it. I use these in my breakfast. And I showed this actually in my morning routine and it's like my favorite meal. Like I mean, I think I might eat it for lunch after I'm done prepping it today. I'm going to go back in with the cayenne because the sweetness and the spiciness is everything. All right. So I'm going to throw those in. The timer's at seven minutes. So I'll probably do those for the remainder of the time that the chickpeas are in actually, which works out perfectly. Now the oven is a little bit cooler, but that's okay. I'll just keep them in there longer. So since those are roasting, the next thing I have is my onion, which I'm going to do last because I despise cutting onions and my peppers. These are from last week and they're still pretty good, but I'm just going to cut both of them so that I definitely use them up this week. So I'm gonna go rinse those and then cut them up. I cut these just down the sides. That way I don't have to worry about ribbing it or 
removing the seeds because it just happens on its own. And then if there's a few seeds there, I do not mind because bell pepper seeds are not, not spicy. They're not gonna hurt you, to my knowledge. And that makes cleanup super easy. Um, so now these, I've been doing them as like long strips, but I think I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller this week since I cut the sweet potatoes so small. The thing about Weight Watchers or any kind of meal plan, just when you're trying to eat healthier, um, at least what I've noticed is snacky type foods, like that people usually gravitate towards are like chips or like some kind of dip or crackers or cookies because all those things are already prepped. So the more you prep, the easier your week will be. There's my peppers, and I throw them in to a little Tupperware. This one should be good, maybe. I can never tell by size. Yeah, that's perfect, because I'm also going to be eating some today, so that's fine. And these are the Pyrex glass containers. The little silicone-ish lids. Next up is my onion. And I'm going to cut this into the same amount, like size pieces as my peppers. I still haven't found the best way to cut an onion. I don't know. It's just disturbing. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing something else in the kitchen while you're making chickpeas since you do have to check them every 10 minutes so since i've been prepping the first two times have been really easy now i'm almost at my third time and i've prepped all the veggies i need so far for this week and i've went ahead and cleaned the dishes so now I'm going to open my black beans and corn and these are for my lunch. I'm literally just gonna rinse them off. Black beans first because they're dark and not pleasant to look at. So I like to rinse all the dark liquid out before putting in the corn. And then I usually have my ground turkey that goes in the same container as this because this is for my lunch, but that's what I have to pick up at the store. So I'm just gonna pour the corn and black beans in here and then I usually have the ground turkey with it and I keep that in the fridge for the entire week. Okay, so it's an hour later and I just took these out and it is the most perfect I have ever cooked them. Like. They are so hard, and I don't know if you want to hear me bite into one, but perfect. The sweet potatoes were done as well. Those are in the fridge prepped by the week. The other two things that I prep are my ground turkey for the week. This one is 98% fat free. I can't always find this one. I can usually find the 97 percent but either way it's zero points on Weight Watchers which is a life saver um, and then my hard-boiled eggs 
which I use my egglets for. This is how you can hard boil eggs without the shell, and it makes life so much easier. The texture is a bit weird on the outside, but I mean, it's still better than having to peel the egg. I have my really big pan ready, and I have a pot of water here for the eggs. So I guess I will, I'm gonna start with some cooking spray, and then I'm gonna get that heated up. I keep it on medium and I'm going to throw this minced garlic in there to start it off. All right, then I'm going to come over here and this is the container that these came in. So I keep it so it's easy to store them. I'm gonna open each one and I have to spray it with cooking spray says use oil or cooking spray and since this is zero points makes my life easy I'm gonna do something different this time and just kind of rub it around because I feel like it's always all at the bottom and so it's a really weird consistency from that meanwhile this pan over here is ready for my meat so I'm just gonna throw that in all right so this is the interesting part. You have to crack the egg inside the container. Which isn't as challenging as you think. So now I'm gonna screw the lids on top of these. Make sure they're tight. I'm gonna drop them in the water and go ahead and bring it to a boil. set my timer for 16 minutes for the eggs and now I'm going to just finish cooking this meat all right and while that meat is cooking I go ahead and I make my own taco seasoning here I have a recipe with the exact measurements and I will put them down below but I just eyeball it now because I love spice so it's not going to be too much for me and it just goes a lot faster this way so it's easier than dirtying spoons and stuff. What I make here is good for two weeks and obviously I add a little bit more than what it calls for and I throw in some cayenne pepper too. And then I stir that up and once my meat is done I go ahead and mix it in. So here are all the spices that I use. I also add salt and pepper. I sprinkled about half of the seasoning on. I'm gonna throw on some water and mix it all up. So I threw the rest of the meat in the container with the corn and black beans and then I have to top this off with corn and black beans. But this is my little container that goes into my lunchbox crock pot. So I put this in the fridge so it's automatically ready for Monday and then I just reuse it throughout the week. I move it from here to here to bring to school. My eggs just finished. I automatically move them to an ice bath, let them cool for a couple minutes. You know, honestly, when I get back to them, I get back to them and then I just store them in a container in the fridge. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, I thought it was really fun to film. Let me know down below some of your favorite healthy snacks or if you're on Weight Watchers already, tell me some of your favorite low point meals. I also share mine on Instagram as well. So make sure you go follow me there because I do post different things I'm trying out that are super low in points. So, or just healthy in general, like if you're not a Weight Watchers person, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and I will see you all next time. Bye.